a happy occasion. In a world where so much can go wrong. <laughs> oh my. He brought out a symbol of what's right this time of year. You know how come rowing across the street? Wait for it. To get to the barking lot. The random guy who calls himself Big Rowan threw us a bone. Oh, that's my elf. <laughs> Technically not his elf, our elf. I think that's a... Uh... So familiar. Oh. We're not going to lie. Pinocchio? <laughs> no. Now, Guy's from Norway, so maybe no one told him. That's uh, Santa Claus's yeah. helper. Just seeing him kind of makes you smile. He's got those little button eyes and a big smile. He's just a happy person. <laughs> and uh, we just like to see things like him in the world today. Yeah, dog. Precisely why News 13 saw a social media opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice. He can bend his knees, and, you know. No, <laughs> he sits very comfortable. Our newsroom named him Scoop. Name it Antonio, <laughs> my employee. <laughs> He's always so cheerful. He looks like an elf anyways. No offense, Antonio. What do I do with Scoop? But we posted Scoop on News 13's Instagram. Downtown, all over Western North Carolina. Endless possibility, says Kathy Stover. I think that's a great idea because that way it probably gets people's interest peaked as to where he's going to be next, and then to try and identify where is the elf. It's more than fair to say it's silly. Is he filming? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> but just maybe this social media experiment gave us the scoop on our craving for happy thoughts. Someone spreading joy. Yeah. Elves are always happy people. Says the guy in a dog costume. Yeah, we just like running around town. So Big Rowan has fallen in love with our mascot with a seasonal shelf life. Then again, he's only human. <laughs> in Asheville, John Lee, News 13. <laughs> yeah.